Hello everyone and welcome to part 4 of our Unity tutorials. Um, we are continuing with our GUIs today. Uh, this is mainly about, you know, activating quests from a from an NPC and just, you know, an, an overall quest GUI just to show you what quests you're doing. Um, last tutorial we managed to create a script which meant, which meant um, you walked up to this guy, you pressed E and the GUI would show up saying, hey, I need your help. Well, today we're continuing that as well as making a new script. Um, if you haven't done this yet or don't know how to do it, then I strongly recommend you watch part three of our Unity tutorials and this will show you exactly that. Okay, let's go. Okay, so now we're going to be creating a quest handler and this will just let you know, handle all the quests and like all their outcomes and stuff. And also we're going to be creating a GUI in the corner of the screen which just, you know, tells you um, what quests you're doing. So you just want to create a new JavaScript and just call this, for example, a quest handle. Okay, so once you're here, you've got the usual stuff. Um, we're going to create two variables, and these are both booleans. Um, one is start, and the other is done. These will both control when to, you know, show and remove the GUI from the screen. Um, you want to create your usual on GUI function as well. Okay, so now we're going to ask Unity if it is done or not from uh, this variable here. And if so, it is going to make a GUI box. Um, so GUI.box to rectangle. And you want to put two of these brackets simply because here we are going to be putting screen dot width. Um, what this does is basically it just gets how wide it is and um, it returns that value. And we're going to minus how big we want ours to be. So I'm just going to put say 250. So basically what that means is um, it's going to make a, re a rectangle. Uh, it's going to position it over here, but it's going to minus 250, so you've got space. Um, if we were to put uh, to position it on this hand side, the left hand side, then we just put zero here. But as it's on the right hand side, we need to get the screen width and minus uh, the width of the box we want to create. It's quite confusing, but you get the hang of it. Um, here for the Y position, I'm just going to put zero. Um, as for the x size, you need to put your value here, which is 250, and y size, say, uh, 200. And you want to close that up, and now you want to put, like, um, the quest. So you want to put current quest, for example, uh, find the key. And you want to close that up. And now you just want to put else here, which means if it's not done, then just put uh, you want to copy this actually, copy this over, but instead of find the key, just put none and leave it at that. So what we're going to do next is something we haven't actually done before. Uh, it's still a function except it has parameters. And what parameters are is that when someone passes in this function, they need to give the variable as well. For example, you know, with this GUI box, the parameters are, are what's inside here. I can demonstrate more with this function under here. So function check if done, and you put uh, you want to put our uh, boolean variable here. So start. Now what's it, what this is doing is that when someone does the check if done function, they need to pass in a boolean var variable, and um, ours is going to be stored in our start variable. So when someone say passes true true will be stored in our start variable and you want to add an if statement and you want to say if it's not done and uh, it started then you want to put done to true this in turn means that when someone passes the check if done function and says true then it says find the key instead of none uh, we will add our quest in a minute, but for now you just want to hit save and go back to Unity. So now you want to revisit your tutorial GUI function, which is back here. And it's the same as we had last time, except it says, hey, I need your help, blah, blah, blah. Uh, we need to add a button to this. 
so with our last uh, variable here with our y size just scale this up to say 150 so we can fit some buttons in and then you want to uh, add your if statement for the button and if gui dot button to a rectangle now I'll skip this part simply because I've demonstrated it already and sometimes it can be you know quite long to calculate the values okay so what I've done is that I've made this button and it's you know it's inside the boundaries of the box and it has the label of yes and when someone clicks this yes button it will start the quest and this is where we you know we pass in our quest handle JavaScript okay so you want to go back to the start of one GUI and you want to put in a variable and we call this for example begin uh, begin the quest now this bit is a little bit different instead of doing you know the variables that come with job for example int or boolean like we've been using we're actually going to pass in one of our own classes which is in this case quest handle and uh, you want to put equals um, get component in the uh, parameters put another quest handle here basically what this is doing is that it's a variable and it's one of our own uh, quest handles and it's just going to get the component, the nearest component to it which we're going to place on the same cube that our tutorial GUI is on and it just allows for us to access um, check if done, you know, all the variables in here um, from from this uh, from this uh, class so now that we've done this we can do begin quest dot check if done and we can pass in um, true and this true of course will correspond to our start variable and because it's true it will begin the current quest uh, GUI to show here uh, just hit save and then uh, actually you want to add something to your if statement you want to put two ands and you want to put a question, uh, question mark, uh, exclamation mark, which means not, um, and you want to put begin quest dot start. The reason why we're doing this is that when the quest is started, you don't want this dude to say, hey, I need your help and restart the quest. So this will only happen if the quest has not been started yet. Um, so if I go back to Unity now. Now a new script is here, and you just want to drag this onto the cube as well. Make sure none of these are checked, otherwise it will cause many problems. Um, so now, if I hit play, you can see that our current quest says none, and we can walk up to our dude. Oops. Hit E. If I hit yes current quest is to find the key, that means it's working hooray and um, I'm not sure if I have time for the actual quest, I can check one second okay so as much as this tutorial is short I think I'm going to end it here because really the quest needs its own tutorial as it, that is quite a long subject on its own but I hope you have learned some more things about GUIs and how you can use them to correspond to you know whether you start a quest or not uh, if you want more then don't forget to subscribe, uh, like the video, I really appreciate it and uh, don't forget to leave criticism, constructive of course, in the comments and I will see you next time, have a good day.